Hello, we're Driven, and we want to thank you for watching WLJC here in Beattyville, Kentucky. And call in, support this great ministry, and these great Amen. folks, and such a great cause for folks that are, tra that are trapped at home and they maybe can't make it out to a church or they're in a hospital. This is their church. This is the only message that they get to hear. And we just thank God for what Sister Margaret and this station has done. Tremendously has helped our ministry, and, and uh, through this, God has opened a lot of doors. And from the bottom of our hearts, we thank this station, and we hope that you call in and support, whether it be by pledge or by prayer. Call this station and give them just a pat on the back and say we appreciate you so much for what you're doing. Good evening and welcome to our service tonight. We really hope that uh, you have your work caught up so you can enjoy the, the singing tonight. We have a, a good group to sing for you and a, a stack of songs about yay high and I think they're going to sing fast and try to get them all sung. So we'll, we'll see about that. But anyway, we know you're going to enjoy it and uh, so we welcome each of you regardless of where you are. We welcome you to uh, sit with us in this service. You know, especially for those that cannot get out and go to church, we kind of bring church your way so you can still be fed spiritually. And we want you to know that God hasn't forgotten you. You might feel like people have sometimes, but God hasn't. So, uh, so stay with us. We're going to have a lot of uh, uh, good music. Uh, we heard today about some folk that are that views this program at night ruby and green smith uh, from manchester said they never miss a service that's ruby and green smith and also we heard uh, terry clark told us about his uh, sister-in-law uh, betsy Exel, and she lives down in the middle part of australia and she's been picking up these services on the internet and so we're so Thankful to to know that all the way down in Australia, they're picking us up and enjoying the music, I'm sure. And then we met a, a mom, a grandmother, and a little boy today that they say he really watches, uh, he really wants, uh, every time it comes time for this service, he wants the, uh, uh, the TV to be turned on here. Now, he's a special needs child. He... Uh, he cannot walk and he can't talk, but they said he can tell you uh, when, or I mean he can point and he knows about what time that the services is supposed to come on. So little Victor uh, Jordan, Victor Jordan, we met his grandma and his mommy tonight, but said Victor really enjoys the service. So we hope he's watching tonight and, and uh, will enjoy the music. All right, let's have some scripture, and then we're going to get uh, some into some good singing. Dottie has a good group up there, a, a bunch, to help her answer phones. If you need prayer, uh, call her. Today, tonight, whenever uh, we are going to read Psalm, the f very first Psalm. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Uh, he shall be like a uh, tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper." Now that is the one that um, is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. But it says, The ungodly are not so. They are like the chaff which the wind uh, driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment or sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Only six verses in Psalms 1, 
But listen how it tells the Lord is taking care of all of us. Saint or sinner, the Lord's the one's taking care of us. You know, sometimes we get the urge to kind of help people straighten out their lives. Well, but this says that the Lord knows the righteous and also the unrighteous. And so we have to leave that to Him. But, but tonight, just think of what He's promised to us as, as uh, if we uh, do not stand... Uh, in other words, if you, if you live right... You're going to, uh, you're going, and his delight is in the law of the Lord. If if our delight, our desires, our uh, all of our ambition is in in trying to do, to uh, do the Lord's work, and we meditate on it, we think day and night about what what can we do for the Lord's work? What can we do for Him to repay for to Him for what He's done for us? We can't really repay Him. But we can remember what he's done for us and be grateful and be thankful and express that by sharing with others. Well, tonight we want you to be thinking about your own soul and uh, if you, which of these categories are you in? Are you the one that he's blessing or the one that will be like the chaff which the wind driveth away? But you don't have to be. You don't have to be outside the this great protective wall that the Lord has around His people. And so tonight, let's pray. And we're going, oh, we have a number of prayer requests here I want to mention before we, before we pray. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, here's a praise report. David has called, said he's uh, praising God for helping him get his car fixed. He's been calling a lot uh, about his car. Here's a lady that needs um, a healing, financial blessing, and stability in her life. Well, that psalm we read promises that. All right, here is one of a call from Jessica for from Fayette County. She's going into the hospital uh, Thursday for open heart surgery. Also for um, for Gary, a 19 year old that will be having his fourth open heart surgery on October the 1st, and also for Nick and uh, others, and that's from Pulaski County. David from Stanton is having cancer surgery on Thursday of this week, and here is um, a Wayne from Madison County. The doctors, he has cancer, and they're just giving him about two weeks to live, but he watches this program here, Wayne Owens, and so he, he needs prayer. And then tomorrow will be the funeral of Michael Jean Blanton, and he has been, he's been a, a viewer of the program. And so let's remember to pray for that family and their loss. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that you love us all. You're not willing that any should perish. And Lord, tonight, for those that are in pain, mentally, physically, or spiritually, we know that you're aware of it. And you are waiting to help if we only allow you to. So for all these that have already uh, we've heard from, we ask for your blessing and protection on them. And Lord, give comfort where it is needed in healing, salvation, whatever is needed. Bless our singers, anoint them, bless the phone operators. And Lord, may this be a good night in your service. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, tonight we're happy to have with us uh, Roy and Kay Himes, pastors of the Lighthouse Baptist Church in Berea, Kentucky, and they do have CDs, and the number is 859-986-4806, and they'll, that will tell you all about their CDs, how many, and so forth, but let's welcome right now the folk from the Lighthouse Baptist Church. Church in Berea, Kentucky. Good evening, friends. We're certainly glad to be here today. Like she said, we got a lot of song requests and things we want to send out. We also uh, want to, first of all, thank Sister Margaret and Don and all of them for inviting us, Brother Bill and them up here. And all the workers up here, th pray for them. They do a good job. Pray for them. If you're out there lost tonight, I'd like to say one thing. If you want to be saved... Jesus to speak to your heart tonight. Then open up your heart and ask him to come in. 
He said, if you, he said, I'm the door and I'm the way. He said, if you want to be saved, I stand at your heart's door in Revelation 3.20. Knock and you shall open up your heart's door. He said, I'll come in and sup with you. So we're not going to take up a lot of time, but do trust in Jesus and ask him tonight. And Christians, God bless you all of our friends and loved ones out there. Well, I wouldn't take nothing for my journey now. Got to make it to heaven somehow. Though the devil tempts me and he tries to turn me around. He's offering everything that's got a name. All the wealth I'd want. Worldly fame, if I could steal a one day. Christians are often tempted, Brother Bill, to stop the devil, but tries us. But we can't afford to quit. We've come too far to look back, Brother Don. So I ain't going to turn back. I'm going to go on. One day I'll go into the glories of the Heavenly Father. We pray out there tonight everyone's listening might be saved. If you will, that if you're not, that you will be saved. God's children too long have been burdened. They are longing for heaven's green shore where heartaches are left far behind us. And Yeah. 
up it's born again in a beautiful place for you to be glory forever and ever no more heartaches no more sorrow no more pain no funeral homes no hospitals but you know what the best part would be is see everybody out there is lost in that and give their heart to Jesus and ask him in your heart if you need counseling call upstairs brother Cecil and all them's up there they'd be glad to talk to you call right in uh, Brother Roy, we've had several people that wanted a song tonight, and we'll go ahead and mention some of those names. Uh, Brother Jeff and I both work at Berea College, so we want to send this out to our co-workers at the food service and also the computer center. Bob and I'm and Jean Judd, Jeff and Sharon Decker, Anna Lee Grant, and also to Wayne and Jerry Owens, and uh, to Marla's mom and dad, Doug and Shirley Broughton, uh, John and Dorothy Saylor, and also to Dale Brummett. The next song we're going to do, Brother Roy's going to sing. It's entitled, You're the Best Thing That's Ever Happened to Me, and I want to send this out to uh, Brother Chester uh, and Sister Corina. Uh, truly, Jesus is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Brother Roy. You've been my life for so long. You were right when I was wrong. I can't repay all the love you've given me. There, my friend, when no one cares, I was alone and you. Thank you. 
what I've got to say to that. Ain't nothing no better than Jesus Christ. Lord, you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. If you can't say that tonight, you've got your priorities out of order and you need to, to, to talk to Jesus because he truly should be the best thing that's ever happened that's to right. you. Uh, the next song we're going to do, we want to send this out to uh, Brother Lloyd and Sister Marie Chastain and also to uh, Cletus Peters down in Rock Castle County and to uh, Candace and Patrick, uh, that's Jeff and Marla's children, and also to my granddaughter Cadence and all of our family. It'll be all right with me. The Lord has gone away to prepare a mansion in glory for me. Someday by grace I'll see His face and live eternally. It could be on land, I'll shake His hand, maybe air or maybe the sea. I don't care as long as Jesus is there, it'll be alright with me. It'll be alright all with me. me. It'll be alright all with me. Jesus said me, I know what I'm ready to go. It'll be people says been preaching it for years sister Margaret that Jesus could come just any time that's the truth but because he is long suffering in mercy he is still not come because he wants to give you all out there another chance to be saved now tonight throughout the world there are going to be a lot of people die and go out into eternity some's going to be ready to go and beat God a many will die according to the word of God, not ready. That's the only thing we want to hear from up here at, uh, up at this station, is to hear of souls that is giving their heart to Jesus. One day, Sister Margaret, and it might be tonight, I'm going to go out and go home and be with Jesus. But I've got my bill paid. God paid it for me, Sister. And one day I'm going to collect my re I'm going to collect all of my rewards when I get home to be with Jesus. I ain't saved by works, but I'm saved by the grace of God. Amen. Amen. And my quote throw us in John three sixteen. If you want to know something, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If you're out there lost, you say, Brother Roy, I'd sure to get saved. If you feel him pulling your heart and telling you you ought to do that, right now, just bow your head down. Amen. Say, Lord, forgive me of all my sins. And mean that with a repentant heart. And today I'm going to give you my heart. Then Jesus, Brother Bill, will come in and save their soul from their sins. That's how good it is, how quick it can be. Don't put it off. Don't put it off. Okay, Brother Roy, our next song we're going to do is Forgive Me, Lord. And uh, if you've never prayed that prayer of repentance, that's the reason we're up here tonight.
is to shine the light of Jesus to let you know that he is willing to forgive you. And you may say, Sister Kay, you don't know what I've done. You don't know where I've been. You don't know the trouble and the mess I'm in. No, I don't. I don't have to know. But friend, Jesus knows and he loves you in spite of everything that you have done. He loves you and he is waiting with open arms to invite you into the kingdom of God tonight. So I hope as we sing this song tonight, maybe that you'll allow the Spirit to speak to your heart and just pray that prayer. Lord, forgive me and help me to pick up my life and live it for you. Amen. Forgive me, Lord, from day to day. He saved us, give us the spirit, Sister Margaret, to keep us, but we fail him sometimes. We don't mean to. Uh, we don't mean to, but we do fail him. But we can bow down and say, God, forgive us, and he's right there, Brother Don. He'll forgive us if we pray. Okay, Brother Roy, the next song we're going to do is uh, entitled Going Home, and I want to sing, sing this tonight for Sister Diane Delaney. And also to Ken and Jolene White, Raymond and Renee Miller, and uh, Robert and Juanita Jones uh, out there in uh, Gabbert Town. I want to send this song out to all of our church family. We have a wonderful church family uh, going home. <clears throat> Many times in my childhood I've traveled so far by nightfall. around me and gently he'd say my child we're going home Go 
we don't know when that day's coming, but we do know that it is coming. Uh, I would like to make an announcement. We're fixing to have a revival at Lighthouse Baptist Church, October the 3rd, the 4th, and the 5th at 7 p.m. each night. And we're going to be having uh, Pastor uh, Owen Smith from the Friendship Baptist Church in Knox County is going to be our evangelist. Um, so if you're around the Berea area and you'd like to come and be with us, again, that's October the 3rd, 4th, and 5th, uh, Brother Owen Smith from Knox County. Just come on out and be with us. The next song we're going to do is I'm Not My Own Anymore, and that's true. If we belong to Jesus, we don't belong to ourselves anymore. So good to be here tonight, and uh, we want to send this song out to Glenda's family tonight over there on the piano, and Brother Will back here on the electric guitar, and I want to send this out to my precious little mama. Everybody at church calls her granny, but I just call her mama. Mama, I love you. When old Satan comes to me, tries to get me to go wrong, I just speak right up to him. Don't you know I'm not my own? Me. No, I really can't afford. No, you can't serve two masters. So I chose to serve the Lord. But well, I'm not my own anymore. I've been bought by a price, precious price that was paid on Calvary. God gave His only Son, sacrifice for everyone. I'm not my own anymore. No, he was. That's why Christ died on the cross of Calvary. And he lived for around 33 and a half years on earth over there in the Holy Lands and around Israel. But he took a whooping and a beating and a spitting. Right, took a whipping from the cat of nine tails with metals and stones tied in it. Pulled out his flesh, left streaks, stripes on his back. Margaret, he didn't do it for himself. He, he, he didn't have no sin. The Bible said there wasn't no sin found in him. He was God in the flesh. But he took our place on the cross because we all should have been whipped for our own sins. But lost friend, that's why I'm telling you, you need to get saved because I'll tell you why. Time is running out. And I believe it's according to the signs of the times, the way fighting is going on in the Mideast and everything, there's always been wars and wars and rumors of wars and always will. But I believe it's pointing to the second coming, Brother Bill, of Jesus Christ. He is soon coming. One day you won't hear it said from TV or pulpit because it's going to be over with. But where are you going to be if he come back tonight? Uh, we would like to make another announcement. Uh, we're going to be singing this coming Saturday. Uh, 
September the 21st at the Gospel Singing Jubilee at the City County Park Blue Building in Nicholasville, Kentucky. Uh, they're going to have an all-day singing. It starts at 11 a.m. and goes to 7 p.m., and we're going to be singing from 2 to 3. So if you're in the Nicholasville area and you'd like to come out and uh, meet with us, uh, hear us or tell us you like us or just tell us you don't like us, just come and say howdy. Uh, just come on out and be with us. Uh, next song we're going to do, we're going to uh, sing this song for... Um, Roy's got a brother that lives over in Danville that's uh, suffering with cancer really bad, uh, Lewis. And we're going to sing this for him and his wife, Lewis and Joanne, and also to Jerry and Laurie tonight. Look what I've traded for a mansion. You got a prayer? <clears throat> Put him in your prayers. Pray for him. I once heard the story of a sainted old mother who had lived out her life here on earth. She lay on her bed with her friends gathered around her. These were the last words she said. Oh, look what I've traded for a man child. Oh, look what I'm leaving behind. Oh, look who will be there to greet me when I stand. And I get excited when I think about what we're going to trade this whole yeah. earth to. I tell you what, the sins and the troubles in this earth, they'll bog you down. They'll heavy you, heart you. They'll, they'll make you cry. They'll make you feel bad. But friend, I cannot imagine yeah. that first step inside the gates of glory. Let's sing that last verse again. Well, her hands were so feeble. Her voice was so low. But she still had a smile on her face Woo! she said i hear singing and they're coming for me then she looked toward heaven and said oh look what i've traded for a man child oh look
say to my sister Laura, they probably listening tonight and Jerry, they've been pretty feeble. Laura, look what you're trading. Just think about and imagine what you're trading your life for down here. Something great. Praise God. We also want to send this song out to uh, Ron Landesi over in Lexington. I, we've, got, we've just got friends and family spread out everywhere. And uh, it's so good to be in the family of God. The next song we're going to do is Not Afraid to Bid This World Goodbye. <clears throat> Not afraid to bid this world
in his arms, I'm not afraid. I also want to send that song out tonight to uh, my aunts and uncles, Jay and Alice and Clyde and Novella. And uh, I just love the Lord. I just love the Lord tonight. Noonie, Wayne, Doug, I'm proud of you all. Proud of you being a Christian, knowing that someday that my family circle is going to be complete. Uh, that's going to be our next song, Family Circle. I'd like to get this song to Roy McCollum, lives there in Rock Castle County. His family, his mother, Mildred McCollum. Be flat. Thank you, Jesus. We've, we've really enjoyed being here tonight. It's such a pleasure. Uh, Any time that we can stand up for the name of Jesus, it's a pleasure. In memories of my childhood days, I recall them now and then. At home with all the family gathered round. But the circle has been broken. It's not the same. song uh, and it's our most requested song that we sing the last mile together and uh, we want to send this out we've got some friends from church that's traveled up here tonight yeah. Danny and Peggy and uh, 
uh, Rita and Kenneth, we're proud that you all came up here tonight. And uh, I want to send this song also out to Yvonne Payne, a dear friend, dear friend. And I know that we can't mention everybody's name, but if you're our friend and you're our acquaintance, if we've met you before and said we'll send you a song out and didn't mention your name, forgive us. Because uh, we, if we don't write it down, I sure can't remember it. Uh, the last smile together. I hope you enjoy this song. <clears throat> I hope we walk the last smile together, hand in hand. We can see the promised land. We've been through. All right, thank you so much, uh, Pastors Roy and Kay Himes from the Lighthouse Baptist Church in Berea, and uh, we're going to give them a little break now, and they're going to, uh, uh, they'll be back to sing more, but they do have CDs now, uh, some of these songs um, that you've heard, uh, no doubt they'll have them on CDs, 859-986-4806, and uh, uh, they knew that that song request would be coming up, and sure enough, we already had it in my hand um, about the last mile. You know, I think they really do a better job on that than anybody I've heard. But different people are uh, calling and complimenting uh, their the music tonight. Mary has called for Frances from Casey County. Today's her birthday, and she wanted a song, and different ones come uh, 
complimenting the singing. And uh, so we're going to uh, uh, just uh, take a minute here and let them catch their breath and, and share some of these prayer requests. Um, here's from Berea, husband Gary. He's in uh, kidney failure, is stable but having episodes and needs prayer. Edith from Whitesburg is real sick and wants prayer and wants a song. Uh, Greg from Laurel County, infection in the gallbladder, doing surgery tomorrow. Uh, Lena from Wayne County uh, is praising God because there's no cancer they found. Hey. And a friend uh, has called for Danny and, friend, uh, Danny and family from um, Fayette County that has cancer. Ken from Knox County burned his foot and needs prayer. Roy from uh, Russell County crippled and needs prayer. Prayer. Adora from Breathitt County has had a light heart attack, and a wife uh, has called for all the f uh, families of the coal miners that was laid off approximately 500 uh, yesterday. And so I tell you, that is so bad. I don't know what those people are going to do. Uh, Patty has cancer. It says Mount Sterling, uh, Dusty is on the ventilator. A son-in-law is in uh, real weak and needs prayer. Here's uh, Braxton from Lexington, 11 months old, and has been sent to the hospital. Uh, a granddaughter uh, from Madison County. Family needs to be saved. Barbara is in the hospital. And, and uh, also from Wolf County, uh, Courtney was in an accident and needs prayer and needs to be saved. And... Um, a grandmother has called for a grandson, Tanner, from Madison County that uh, is in the Marines and left for Afghanistan yesterday. Uh, Frances from Knox County uh, has suffered a great loss. Her husband passed away uh, this month, and, uh, but she wants to thank everybody that prayed for her. And here's uh, from Pulaski County. Mary has called for her uh, great niece uh, that's in... Um, said her trailer burned last week and she needs peace. Her All of her, f her five children and her boyfriend was all burned up in the trailer. And here, this one more here from uh, Powell County, a little newborn baby, and it's been on life support and they've taken it off of life support. So we need to remember these families that are really hurting. And... Um, and we have much more requests that's in and more coming, but, you know, uh, I would just share some of these with you so you can be praying. All right, the group has uh, kind of uh, caught their breath, and they're going to, they're back, uh, ready to uh, do some more singing. And, uh, and Edith has come down to join them. Uh, this is her home church, and... Now we uh, we kind of have uh, claims on Edith too. She's uh, she was just raised over the hill here from us, uh, growing up, what, looking at the TV, a radio tower, and so forth. But then she's got a good church home and being nurtured in the Lord uh, in in Berea. So uh, right now, let's go back to uh, the group and uh, plus Edith, and she's going to do some singing. Came Roy plus Edith. <laughs> That's a good title. <laughs> Thank you, Margaret. I'm glad to be back and glad to be a part of WL Jesse. Y'all pray for me. I read in the paper another earthquake has torn the land and famine is out of control. Oh, there's fighting. God and He's in charge. 
Send this out to my in-laws, uh, Major and Jr. and I think Rick should be there with them. So <laughs> I'd like to send this out to them. Uh, I'll be in A again, guys. I've been on my way to heaven for a long, long time. And many things have happened that's clouded up my for the Lord. She has really been a great help to Lighthouse. She's been a great help to Beattyville. And I appreciate Sister Margaret and Don and Bill and his wife and, and all those who help take care of the, and the staff that takes care of the cameras. Margaret, I have to tell you, y'all doing a good job. I'm in hearing people all over the country that we meet says, boy, I like watch that station. Glad we can still see it sent out. Amen. And even in the more homes today than what it used to be just a few years ago. Thank God. Even on the internet. Over in Australia. Well, praise God. <laughs> Hope you're getting a blessing from it over in these other, sta other uh, nations. Brother Roy, the next song we're going to do, uh, there was a lady called in and said that she just lost her husband and had requested a song. And I'm sorry, I don't have the words to the song that was requested, but we're going to do um, this one. There's a miracle in the making. And you know, God's got a miracle for you tonight. You just have to do His will in order for Him to work. One thing that I have always found out, God is not going to bless sin. He will not bless sin and He will not bless disobedience. But if we'll work for Him and live for Him and get our heart right with Him, He can work those miracles in our life. <clears throat> we'll send this song out also to all of our neighbors out there in Big Hill and uh, the Pine Woods where we live. <laughs> the crowd was great, but she knew she had to reach him, for it was her last hope of ever being in so she
God's got miracles in the business for us if we ask for them. No matter how bad in life we can, slow we can get with deaths in our family, Brother Bill, I tell you what, he's there to lift us up like he did Peter out of that water. When he took his eyes off Jesus, he got in trouble. But honey, he said, Lord, save me. And the Lord reached down and took him by the hand, and Margaret, and lifted him right out of that water. Then they got in the boat. Let God put you back in your boat tonight if you're backslidden. And let him save you. He'll sure get a miracle for you. And it is a miracle to save for somebody to get saved. I praise God. Okay, Brother Roy, I'm going to send this next song out to my teenage Sunday school class there at the church. I teach the teenagers, and uh, I hope some of them are listening tonight. And if you are, this song is for you. Look how big my God is. My will was quickly fading as I struggled unto my knees. Oh Lord, behold my mountain. To me it is to stay. My strength
and Sister Shirley Carpenter. Uh, Ralph has had such a horrible time with his back, and Ralph, we're still praying. Don't give up. Just look under that mountain and say, look how big my God is. And also to uh, Mamie and Gillis. Uh, we're going to do one more song, and we hope and pray that if we never meet you again here on this earth, that we'll meet on the streets of gold in heaven. We'll leave you with this song, Because He Loved Me. <clears throat> and truly tonight, if you never hear us say anything else on this earth, remember, Jesus loves you. He loves you more than you could ever imagine how much He loves you. On a hill called Calvary, Jesus my Lord suffered for me, carried the
thank you so much. And if Roy and Kay will make their way up here, we just got a few minutes to finish up the service, but um, we uh, <coughs> we have been visited by the Lord tonight, and so we are so thankful for that. And uh, uh, so uh, here we even have you a mic, Kay. Um, that was some that was some great singing tonight. Roy and Kay Himes from the Lighthouse Baptist Church in Berea, Kentucky. And uh, remember, they do have CDs. All right, I want to uh, divide these up. These are the treat, Roa, here uh, for tonight. Uh, oh, my uh, I'm going to let these people be blessed because I had to divide them up. Uh, <laughs> so uh, that's about, <laughs> about the only time we're, we'll just have to acknowledge these and then to pray for all the requests. So let's go to okay, it. Okay, I want to go first. I'm all right. Excited. Okay. First of all, I forgot to send a, a song out to Stanley Lear. He wanted that, the last smile together. So, um, Stanley. My goodness, look at this. Salvation reports. Barbara from Mount Sterling has prayed for salvation. Mike from Broadhead for salvation, and he's going to be baptized Sunday. <laughs> uh, Udell from Lexington has professed salvation. Amen. I'm about to take a fit. <laughs> Carol from Winchester says she has now got joy in her heart. Friend, if Jesus comes in, you'll have joy. And David from Junction City has given his heart to the Lord and asked in prayer for cancer. Amen. Brother Roy. And from Matt <laughs> Sterling's got saved. <laughs> Woo! Brenda from uh, Corbin's got saved. Amen. A guy by the name Jim got saved from, uh, uh, his mother has cancer from London. And James Williams uh, and Matt Vernon got saved. And Nancy Couch, uh, in Nicholasville, Kentucky. That's where we're going to be at over there. And this lady said, uh, Betty, for herself, called in from Lincoln County, got saved. Thank God. Well, that's not the only one. Look here. We've just been given us. Well, I'm telling you what, I just can't hardly sit right here in this seat. Uh, Virgil from Hazard has called in and for salvation and Praise also God. for prayer for health problems. Hallelujah. I'm telling okay, you what. <laughs> all right, that Woo! makes a whole dozen tonight. That so, makes a dozen. All right, we've just got uh, a few minutes here, uh, and so if y'all will anoint these, and uh, uh, we're going. Well, we just got three minutes here, so let's uh, let's. Uh, we're just going to have to pray, and uh, but you know the Lord is so merciful. This has been such an encouragement to all of us. We're all tired and weary, and. Uh, from time to time, and so we need a refreshing like this. Yes. Go ahead. We just got a couple of minutes. Our Father in heaven, we know oh, that when times are going good, that things uh, oh, comes to an end. No, but Father, Jesus. we pray real quickly. You know our hearts. We pray yes. for all these yes. that are on these prayer lists is not, yes. whether it be a physical matter, spiritual, or financial. Yes. God, we thank you for the souls that got saved. Yes. We just ask Praise you to continue Lord. to Praise speak you. to them and many more, many yes. more yes. be yes. saved. Lord. We pray everyone was blessed in yes. nursing homes and hospitals and yes. their own homes. Yes. God, be with everyone. Bless them, and I know you can heal them. Yes. Comfort their hearts. In thy name we pray, yes. and amen. Amen. All right, for, for those that uh, will be facing surgery tomorrow, we, will, we have prayed. We'll continue to pray for you that everything will go well and that you'll be healed. All right, uh, do you... One Brother more Margaret, minute. I'd like to say one more thing. You know, the program's over and we're all fixing to get on the road and go home. And we're planning on going to our earthly home. But you know, we may be heading to our heavenly home tonight. We don't know. But That's if the right. Spirit has spoke to you tonight and you have not answered that call, friend, think about what Jesus can do for you. Yes. Don't leave this world unsaved. Yes. He made the way. You have to choose it. And you know, He gave us that choice. I'm glad I chose Jesus. Yeah. I feel like the Spirit is probably speaking to someone even right now. Yes. Even you, the phone operators will be here for just a little while. Get on that phone and call them. And you know what? You don't even have to call the phone operators. You can fall down on your knees. You can stand on your feet and call out to Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Praise That's God. Great. Thank All right, you, uh, Hallelujah. Brother Roy, you want about 30 seconds. Uh. All right, I'm just going to say, Margaret, <laughs> because of the lack of time, so you can finish up. Brother Don, Margaret, and Bill, and all of you here, and the staff, 
Uh, we thank God for being here, and God bless every one of you out there. We want God to bless everybody out there. Right. And again, think about Jesus if you're not saved. Yes. All right, we do appreciate everyone that's been here to help in the service. You know, uh, it takes everyone to make uh, a service a success, and so they've they've done their they've poured their heart out, and so. Uh, the Lord has blessed. And so we're going to have to say from all of us here, good night and God bless you. God bless you.